Okay, so welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about simultaneous equations. Okay, so we've already been talking, we, we already did one video on those. We we're talking about two simultaneous uh, linear equations. So just a quick recap. So I'll recap, I'll just show you the examples. So we had something like x plus y is equal to 7, 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. So two linear equations, so there was no uh, x squared or anything like that. So just linear means there's everything is uh, to the power of one kind of. So it's all normal like this, and there's an x and a y. So we have two variables and two equations we need to solve. We need to find what x is equal to, what y is equal to. And remember, uh, I showed you what that means on the graphs. I said it would be important in a different topic. So on a an x y graph, that's going to look something like one line here, and uh, we'll do yellow. Another line here. So this crossing point here are going to be the coordinates x and y. So say this is 3 and this is 4. This crossing point here is going to be 3, 4, a coordinate. Okay. So when you solve a system of linear equations, so you solve two linear equations, you find the crossing points of the two lines. Okay. Now we're going to be looking at a little bit, one that's a little bit harder. So we're going to be looking at, our example is going to be, we're going to have x minus y is equal to minus 1. Let me fix that. And then our other one is going to be quadratic, so it's going to be x squared plus 5x plus 1 is equal to y. Okay, so this is a quadratic one and this is linear. So if we draw this out, we're going to have our linear one. We're also going to have our quadratic one. Okay, so the main point I'm trying to make here is that there are two crossing points now. So instead of just getting x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4, we're going to get two solutions. We're going to get two coordinate points of where these two, where the line and the curve meet. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and do this example. I'm just going to erase this stuff quickly uh, to give us a little bit of space. Okay, so this is the example here. So let's start with orange. Uh, no, I'll go back to red. So when we want to solve this, we can't just cancel things out like we did last time. It won't work the same way. So the, the easiest way to do it is you want to substitute something else in. So we're going to look at this here. It starts, you always look at the linear one. So we have x minus y is equal to minus 1. So we can write that as minus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus x. Okay, so minus y is equal to minus 1 minus x. Uh, and we can also write that as, so this implies y is equal to 1 plus x. We just multiplied everything by minus 1 and everything is changed to uh, plus. Okay, so this is our equation 1. Our equation 2 is going to be this one here. So if we put substitute 1 into equation 2, so if you see y is equal to 1 plus x and y is also equal to all of this, we can say that this is equal to this. Okay, and we'll write that now. I'm going to write this in this color. So x squared plus 5x plus 1 is equal to 1 plus x, okay? Uh, x squared is going to be plus 4x, so if we bring the x over, it'll be negative, and so it will get minus 4x, uh, and the two ones will cancel, and we'll be left with is equal to 0, okay? So now we need to solve this. So if we solve this thing here, which is what, what we did when we subbed one, uh, or substituted one equation into the other one, we should get the two, okay, I'm after crossing out the diagram, but we should get the crossing points, this and this one here, okay? So when we solve this, so uh, I'll just go ahead and solve this. We're going to have x and x plus 4, so we have to factorize it first. So either x has to be equal to 0 or x plus 4 has to be equal to 0 because uh, two things in their product is 0, one of them has to be 0. So we're going to say x is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to minus 4, okay? So we're not finished just yet. So if x is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 4, they're answers, but we also need to find the y-coordinates. So remember, we're looking for coordinates here, the two points where they cross. So we need to look for the y-coordinates. So we're going to look at this one here, because it will be the easiest one uh, to find the y-coordinates. So y is equal to 1 plus x. Uh, so if we have I'm going to do this one in green, y is equal to 1 plus x, that means y is equal to 1. Mm -hmm. A box here and this one in yellow, uh, y is equal to 1 plus x, 
that means y will be equal to minus 3 in this case. So we have our two sets of coordinates there. When x is equal to minus 4, y is equal to minus 3. And when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So if we do just a little sketch of that, we're going to do it on the side here. And I'm going to do it in red. So like any drawings I've done beforehand have just been totally random. They haven't had any actual meaning. But the two points, so it's going to be minus 4 and minus 3 is this one here. And then x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1, so this one here. So I'm going to draw our line is going to be going through these two points. And then our curve could look like anything as long as it goes through these two points as well. So we're going to say it looks like that. Okay, so does that make sense? So go back and start again. Our, so the linear simultaneous equations are only going to have one answer. It's going to be one solution. It's going to be the normal way where you just uh, you cross these two out, and you, so you cross the y's out, find the x's, and you sort of back in and find the y's. So the other videos we have explained how to do the linear equations. This one here is going to look a little bit different, so I have a couple of scribbles over it, but one of them is linear, so x minus y is equal to minus 1, and the other one is quadratic, x squared plus 5x plus 1 is equal to y. And the trick is you want to get the linear one, you want to put it into a nice form, so y is equal to 1 plus x, and you want to sub that into your quadratic one. And then once you solve that, you'll have your two answers of x and y, and that'll give you your two coordinate points of where they meet. Okay, thanks for watching.